This week we've been looking at some lessons with the overall theme of more, more about Jesus. And we've been taking as our inspiration the great old hymn by that title. Well, in the fourth verse of that great hymn, we find these words, More of His Coming, Prince of Peace. Friends, we find that there are more than 300 verses of Scripture that mention the second coming of Christ. And we, by no means, can take a look at all of them in the short period of time that we have together today. But we can observe that the second coming is inevitable. It is investigated, and what we must do with such knowledge has been clearly presented in the Scriptures. So, the second coming, we see, it is inevitable. Now, there were those in Peter's day asking the question, well, where's the promise? How do we know that he's coming again? 2 Peter 3 and verse 4. Well, since he had not returned, then he must not be coming again. Well, friends, this was faulty logic. And three points guide us to know that his return is inevitable. First, it was promised by Christ himself. Jesus said, I will come in glory, Matthew 25 and verse 31. Jesus promised, I will come again to those servants of his, those disciples who were sorrowful in John 14, 1 through 6. But secondly, it was proclaimed by angels. After seeing the Lord ascend into the heavens, the disciples, they continued looking up into the heavens and angels spoke and said, men of Galilee, why do you stand gazing into heaven? This Jesus who was taking, taken up from you into heaven will come again in the same way that you saw him go into heaven, Acts 1 and verse 11. But third, we see that it was preached by the apostles. Paul declared, the Lord shall descend from heaven, 1 Thessalonians 4 and verse 16. And in writing to Titus, he said, looking for that blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ, Titus 2 and verse 13. The apostle Peter encouraged uh, persecuted saints with the entreaty to praise and, and give glory and honor to God and to be ready to extend those things at the appearing of Jesus Christ, 1 Peter 1 and verse 7. John, he penned the words, We know when he appears that we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is, 1 John 3 and verse 2. But John also includes among his very last words in Revelation 22 and verse 20, Even so, come, Lord Jesus. But whenever we investigate the second coming, so often people want to know when. When is it going to be? Well, friends, we don't know when Jesus is going to return. Through the years, many men have professed with certainty in their minds that they had determined when Jesus' return was going to be. Well, time has proven them all to be false. Friends, we must remember that even Jesus himself said that concerning that day and hour, no one knows but the Father only. Matthew 24 and verse 36 and Mark 13 and verse 32 attest to this fact. Friends, if anyone comes along and tells you they know for a fact when Jesus is coming again, don't fall for it. Don't give in. Because our Lord and Savior himself said only God knows. Peter said that his coming is going to be like a thief in the night. And friends, this knowledge of when that's going to be. It's one of those things that Moses talked about in Deuteronomy 29 and verse 29, those secret things that belong to God. But why is Jesus coming again? Well, 2 Peter 3 and verse 9 says that he's coming again to fulfill his promises. He's coming again to judge all of the world. He's coming to punish the wicked and reward the faithful. He's coming to take his bride, the church, and deliver her to his father. But then we look at how he's coming again. We're told he will come in like manner as he went. When Christ comes again, he will come not as a lowly baby lying in a manger, but in all his glory with the hosts of heaven. We see this set forth in Matthew 25, 31, also 2 Thessalonians 1, 7 through 8. But friends, when he comes, it is not going to be a secret thing. It will be a universal event. We're told in Revelation 1 and verse 7 that every eye shall see him. We're also told that on that day, 
every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. Why? Because there will be no doubt as to who he is and what is taking place. Friends, we know this will happen. We know that Jesus is coming again, but we don't know when it's going to be. Therefore, we need to live a life of preparation, ready for that day. Friends, we thank you for joining us for our program today, and have a blessed day.